Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today I'm going to be bringing you along with a little bit of an upgrade here in the fish room. My plan is to expand my coral healing tank. So you can see that we have all this stuff here is currently healing. A lot of this is healed and ready to go. And then this is my little section of WYSIWYG. Now, my plan is to expand that. So basically I'm gonna leave that stuff in there for now, probably move a little bit of it. But I wanna add two more identical racks here, put this stuff on it, cut it up, frag it. I mean, this stuff is just ridiculously huge. I'm over here cutting frags. I mean, I can't even fit that in a damn bag now, so, uh, or a cup. So I gotta get in here and cut some of these. I mean, look at this damn thing. You wanna hide in a fora, here you go. But uh, yeah, so I gotta get in here and cut some of these as well. Some of this uh, Plosopora, it's just too big to fit in cups. So I gotta get in here and do that. I'll do that a little bit later. But my plan is to expand this tank since I'm not really utilizing the space the way I should be. I mean, you look over here, we got this whole tank that's just full of colonies that are growing out. We have a little bit of room here for a few more, which once that's filled, then we'll transition over to this tank and eventually this whole tank will be full of colonies. Um, that's the plan, but I don't know how that's gonna work out since the demand for coral is so high and uh, I'm not able to heal them fast enough. That's really what's going on is I have corals that I cut, of course, from the 300, yada, 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 and uh, the 40 gallon, and then all that stuff comes in here, heals up, and then once it's healed, it goes up for sale, or and then you know pitch is taken, the whole the whole situation. You guys know what's going on. And the problem is I just can't cut and heal fast enough, so things are going out of stock. People aren't getting what they want to get, and uh, you know I get the email saying you know when's this going to be in stock? When's this 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 this? And I'm just trying to fix the issue uh, early on. So let me let me bitch about the 300 real quick before we get started. This colony right here, this WWC, I'm about to pull out that whole colony. I'm serious. That that whole colony is about to come out. It's STNing on the STNing on the bottom, which is slow tissue necrosis. This damn thing, it's been doing it for a couple months now. It's completely shaded out. I mean, you got to think the lights are coming straight down. It's not getting enough light. I was debating on adding more LEDs, uh, putting another uh, XR15 there and doing five per section. But I mean, I, I could get it, I could do it, but I don't know if I wanna make that kind of adjustment to the light, because it's really going to overlap and, and add a lot of part of the tank, at least in this particular area. And I don't wanna cause any issues with what I got going on. But uh, that's not gonna solve the problem for the STN down here. I mean, you can put all the light in the world over here at Berkman, and uh, that's not gonna fix this. I mean, it's so irritating. I mean, the Red Monty well, looks orange on the, on the video. It's, it's dark red, trust me guys, it just looks freaking orange. Um, it's just a particular gel, gel filter. But anyway, it's it's just killing it. And then this coral's killing it and it's shading itself out. I mean, I can't stand it. Um, it's not because it's not a beautiful colony. It's because when I walk in the room, I'm like, oh, look, it's STNing. Well, that sucks. And I don't like looking at it. And uh, another thing that I don't like is I don't like this whole colony. I don't like this colony. Uh, I don't like any easy bird, any easy colony, any easy SPS at the moment. Um, these uh, green uh, digitatas. I mean, geez, I can't get rid of this shit. Um, I have buy one, get one free on that right now. And uh, I mean, I have colonies everywhere. I got free in the grow out tank. And uh, th the point is, is that I have this easy SPS, which I love the way it looks, as in when it's not overtaking my whole tank. I mean, if you step back, what do you see? Giant colony, giant colony, takes up a ton of room here. And it's just, it, I feel like I can utilize the space a little bit better than having this stuff. Now I do have to get in here today and cut a crap ton of this. I mean, you can see they're just about to touch over here. I just, I just cut it a week and a half ago. Um, you know, not bragging or anything, but damn, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I do have some corals in the back coming, coming up. I mean, I thought I removed a lot of this. You can't really see it, but there's bird's nest coming up right there. Um, panopy bird's nest. The chip of is coming back, back after I removed this giant colony. And, uh, I just, I got. I think I want to make some adjustments to the tank, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I mean, we're going to have the system up for probably another year, year and a half or so, and maybe I could just deal with it. Um, I'm not dealing with that STN though. If that thing keeps going, that colony's nixed, and I'll just replace it with some kind of higher end Acropora, and it will really bring a lot of light back to all these corals. Because you got to think, I trimmed the crap out of this thing just so this guy, these guys will even have hope. Like this tort uh, will even have hope of surviving. I just have to cut out huge chunks. And I know that I have to do it often. And I think that's what's stressing it out on top of, you know, I did have had a little bit of alkalinity dip the other day, not paying attention. Um, but it happens. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so I got to get in here and make some changes to this tank, uh, at least trim it up. Um, and I can't really put corals anywhere uh, that I cut up because we're running out of room. Um, there's just, there's barely any room. I got the power head there that's blowing, so I can't put corals way up front or they're going to get blasted. 
I can't put the power head up too high or it's going to cause uh, bubbles and it's just not going to work out well, tips the frags over. So that's the perfect spot for it. So I have to add a rack over here and then I can really start cutting a little bit more. I mean, granted, the coil that's in here right now, after I make frags of the frags, are going to take up a pretty big chunk of the rack, of the new rack already, and I got to get in here and cut these guys up. The um, Galaxia, just that's the hedgehog too that's uh, growing out. Once that's grown out, grown out, I will cut it again. You guys will be able to get some of that. But um, yeah, so that's the plan for today's video. I'm trying not to bitch too much, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me get the uh, other camera on so you guys can see without the gel filter, and I'll show you how we're gonna. I'll show you the the uh, rack holders. We'll set up the racks and we'll move all the frags and stuff over. So. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the egg crate. Uh, you can see over here, right there, we have two sheets of two foot by two foot black egg crate. I get this stuff from Bulk Resupply. And I went ahead and made a couple or a few of my uh, egg crate stand holders. Now I do have a bunch of versions of these and I've actually designed them in a way that they sink now. Before they had a little bit of a floating issue depending on how big you get once you got to like the two inch, three inch, and four inch. They didn't sink as well, but now they just drop right to the bottom, which is pretty sweet. Uh, they come with a zip tie holder there, and you can see that this is the one inch version. I just got to clean these up before we get started. And uh, yeah, so I sell a ton of these, and again, there's two versions of them if you're interested. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, trim them up, put them on the egg crate, but first I have to measure to see how much of this egg crate we're going to put in here because I know it's bigger than the low boy. That is blue shit. All right, so we got there, there, so. Uh, probably just going to do the same length as I have in that one. That way the uh, power head will sit in the same spot. So I'll probably just cut it, oh boy, right here, uh, giving a little bit of room for a wiggling around. Depends. Um, I'm going to double check and see how many, uh, how big the other one is, and because that one's been working out pretty well. It doesn't move around too much. The cleanup crew seems to be able to move underneath because they are about one inch um, stop, or feet on those as well. And uh, probably just do the same exact thing over here. So I'm going to double check with that, and uh, we can get started. Okay, so I went ahead and double checked the racks in the current healing tank, and it looks like it's 34, so just going to double check that here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so I'm going to cut off this much. All right, and I like to use my bone cutters. Pretty simple process. So. I'm just gonna fast forward this, but I'm gonna cut both the racks at 34 and I'll be right back. All right, so those are done. Now, just to prove that these things sink, let's go to move over to the frag tank real quick. Doing it, doing it, doing it. It's probably gonna get blown away. And they sink. And who said you can't make plastic sink? Holy shit, I'm gonna lose it too. Well, all right, well, I guess we'll have to get that one later. He's underneath. Oh, I guess I'll be fishing that out soon. Anyway, so it's time to add these. I'm gonna grab some white zip ties and we're gonna get it done. Okay, so I was able to find five of the white zip ties. We'll have to use the black ones uh, to do the other rack. But anyways, when it comes to setting these up, it's pretty simple. You got the hole here, just put the zip tie through. All right, now I like to put mine just a little bit on the inside. Uh, just because when I put racks next to each other, they're not hanging off, you know, bumping into each other, depending on how big your tank is. But I'll just put it right here. Then you just slide the zip tie through. All right, back through. And that's it. Done. And then come in here and give it a quick snip. Maybe not so quick. There we go. And then that's it. That's one. Now I'm just going to do that for the rest of them. Now depending on the frag rack, I like to do a fifth one, depending on how big it is. Most of the time, if it's a smaller frag rack, four is fine, but see there's a little bit of dipping in the middle, especially when you get some weight on there. So I'm going to add a fifth one. Close to the middle, I guess I could be anal about it and you know count exactly and find the middle one, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Let's see what looks like the middle. That looks like kind of like the middle. Actually, that looks more like the middle. All right. 
Same thing. And this will just prevent any of the dipping or saggage. Here, give it a snip. Okay. All right, and that takes care of one. And good to go. And uh, we just gotta throw that in the tank when we do the second one. And we'll be right back. Okay, now that we're done with both of our frag wraps, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the other camera, or turn on the other camera, and uh, pull out the current rack and the current coral. And um, I guess for the sake of this video, we can go ahead and also cut that coral up and frag it. Um, Cause I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna remove all that coral, put these new racks in, start cutting it up, fragging it, and then put it back in there. And hopefully it'll look pretty good. All right, so we'll pull out the current rack. Give it a quick shake. We're going to bring this over and start cutting these up. I'm actually going to just pull off the bigger colonies or bigger frags real quick and then put the little ones back in here and then move over to uh, cutting them. Get this galaxia. Flow is a flowing. That's it. So that's all the coral. Fish are freaking out. Racks. What side do I want to be the front? I got too much flow going on in there, I'm pushing the rack around. Oh, I gotta get the air out of it. Where well, I can do that? There we go. Get that out. Get the air out of this one. So we'll sink. I'm gonna do that with the other two real quick. It's good as they stay full of water, which is nice. There we go. And the middle one, I'm just gonna let it come out in time. Would benefit with a small wreck. Yeah, I should probably turn the flow off. That thing is moving. Must be during its surge mode. All right, so how do I want this to go? Nope, oh, not that way. Not that way because it's ugly. Yeah. Okay. Make sure the other one's turned the other way. I keep saying I'm going to turn off the flow, but I should probably. Probably do that. What I think I'm going to do is trim off just a tad bit because I'm pretty sure I did that in the other one too before I connected them. Is I trimmed off the far edge here. That way I can zip tie these two egg crates together because it's just a smidgen too big. Just tiny smidgen. I'm going to cut that off real quick and we'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back here and you can see that I cut off just one square along this strip to make it so I could fit both of these next to each other. I did end up doing that on the other tank. I didn't really realize that while I was thinking about it initially, but it's good to go. They're both next to each other and that's a lot of room for corals and uh, looks pretty good. So, Time to get over and start uh, cutting up frags, but before I do that, I'm actually going to uh, toss in the ones that are already at a decent size, and then just take the bigger ones over and take care of those. Okay, so I went ahead and took out all the frags that are too big to ship. Uh, either they're too big to fit in a cup, or they're just too big to go into a bag and could potentially punch a hole like this uh, Hydrofor, Hydnofor can definitely uh, do a lot of damage to a plastic bag, uh, depending on how big it is. So I just got all the bigger frags out here, got some, uh, green uh, uh, digitata, we got some uh, canopy bird's nest or pulisopora, and then of course a regular bird's nest in the hydnophora. So we're going to go ahead and frag all these up on the saw, get them on new plugs, and then get them on to our new rack. So let's go ahead and get started.
so that's pretty much all the frags that we got from there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back over to the, uh, or back in the grow out tank or healing tank, and then we'll frag all these up. Okay, so it's time to uh, frag everything up. I'm gonna put some music on just to kind of fast forward the whole process, and I'll see you at the end. Hey guys welcome back so finally finished everything I put the coral back in the tank and it looks pretty good just turn the flow on and uh, no corals are getting blown over it's at the same speed that it was before and uh, yeah I got a ton of room now so all the frags that were already healed and I cut up are right here in somewhat of a an order keep them somewhat organized and uh, I went ahead and zip tied these two uh, egg crate racks together turned out pretty good and that means I have a ton of room or at least a two foot by two foot square worth of room that I can uh, you know cut some more coral give you an idea of kind of how much coral that is blue 300 basically this entire rack so I could fit that many more frags cut healing and ready to go I'm probably going to transition a lot of this stuff over just so I can expand my WYSIWYG a little bit more uh, make some more uh, 3d printed uh, display plugs and just expand it to this whole just do just one complete rack of just WYSIWYG and then we'll do a healing rack and then two healing racks over here so that'd be pretty much it for now uh, like I said when I start getting more colonies I'm gonna fill up the last 20 or so spaces here um, these are frags that are just being cut uh, ready to go out uh, next week they're just healing on these racks here I get these racks from Geo's Reef by the way and uh, yeah so when I get more colonies in quarantine ready to go we'll fill up this and then depending on how many colonies come in we'll start laying the tiles out over here so we're just gonna make uh, make do with what room we have and keep this going until we build the new system so that's about it and as for the 300 I I know I was kind of grumpy and bitching about it but I do love the tank I love that it you know it provides uh, you know for the business and takes care of what I need for uh, you know bills and everything it, it does it does what it needs to do and uh, you know it's basically the channel really um, as much as I hate taking a colony out, I will take them out if I need to, especially if they're not looking good or they're kind of suffering because of light and all that good stuff. I will remove them. But overall, I really do love the 300. I love the entire system as a whole and i um, very thankful that I, uh, I have it. So that's about it for this video. I will see you guys later. All right. Peace.